Dream Team, it's your boy B. Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with world's fastest camera drone versus F1 car featuring Max Verstappen. Before we dive in, make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up. Let's look at this matchup we got. Is that the fastest camera drone in the world? <laughs> Do you think that can keep up with me around the lap in an F1 car? Uh oh. I think that can be one of the best F1 shots ever. It's about Probably. To move. Let's see if you can beat me in a straight line. All right, yeah, let's see. First across the line, fastest wins. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Oh my god! Oh my god! 180! It's unbelievable! 250! It's amazing! 310! Oh my god! That thing took off like a rocket! That is legit insane! This isn't a fair comparison. I think I got you there. You definitely did. There's a small issue. These cars aren't really made for this type of competition. Exactly. Here's a real challenge. You film a smooth, well-framed shot on a whole lap around Silverstone with RB20 with Max Prime. Uh -oh. Stupid. Stupid idea to build this. It's going to be hard to get that speed, and then it's <clears throat> impossible to get the endurance for a full lap. This is going to be hard. Yeah. So why is following a Formula One car around a circuit so much more difficult than in a straight line? F1 cars are unmatched in their ability to go around corners and also to decelerate through braking. Can a drone handle that rapid acceleration and deceleration around Ooh. the turns? And then there's the distance. The guys are going to have to have enough battery to fly flat out for around this 5.8 kilometer racetrack. And they need to make sure that the motor and electrics can take that amount of sustained power without bursting into flames. I was gonna say, that is a lot of power, and that is a lot of wind, like resistance coming, like, dang. You don't think about this stuff, but hey, a drone, I don't, is, can a drone take that? That is a great question. That just goes to show you how much technology and, and, and everything that goes into an F1 car though, man. And then there's the challenge of having to learn how to fly a completely new aircraft and keep up with a multiple world champion. So this is what we normally use as an FPV drone for chasing cars. It does like 150 to 180 kilometers an hour. It just doesn't have the power, the top speed, and definitely not the endurance to keep up with an F1 car. We need to rethink kind of what an FPV drone could be. It's a testing, improving, testing, improving kind of cyclist. Full throttle, baby. This is so dope though, like this is fire. We came up with this. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Let's see how far we can push it. We're gonna see first if it works, second that it doesn't burn, see how it handles it at some higher speeds. Going up. Oh, oh. Ooh, this wire. The wire melted. It explodes. <laughs> Dang. Well, prototype number two. Drive straight. Should I land? Web, yeah, land, land, land. Overheating can go maximum 100 degrees and it's already at 120. All right, turn around. Oh quickly. my God. It really wobbles. Aerodynamic hacks, taping everything. I mean, if it works, it works. No, I'm going faster. Oh my. Oh, you got 350 is crazy. A drunk? That's insane. Sorry. That's wild. Zero That's damage. Wild. Oh yeah. <laughs> We've tested all we can test in the field, but it doesn't work on a track. This is gonna be crazy. So we're here at Silverstone for some test laps behind Liam Lawson. We've never done this before. We've only flown in the field so far. This thing's so cool. I you mean, chuck it to start it. <laughs> no, no, we have to start it like this, and then it basically tilts like that and flies. Right. We'll show you the footage later. How does it work? By tracker or you program it by GPS? No, no, this is 
pure and manual. He's pilot. a pilot. And the pilot. Are you kidding? Yes. This is the time we get to show what we really can do. There is a lot of pressure. It's a long track, it's a fast track, it's hard braking zones. We are ready to go with a full lap. A lot of things that could go wrong. Firing up Dang. there. Take off. Drone is in the air. Yeah. Signal's still good. I'm going oh my god. It's kind of glitching. I'm gonna do a bit more full speed on the straight now. Oh, oh dang. You see that? Uh, That's not cool. I have no video. Hitting return Damn. home. I see it. Yeah, it's over there. I have video now. Okay, I'm cancelling this lap. Easy landing, please. I'm gonna land it in the grass here. Yeah. Two, one, off. Uh, it's bouncing down. It's a bit worse than I was thinking. God dang. It was definitely not in the game plan. That really scared me. It just may not be able to, to, to do a full lap. Dang, they got to get back in the lab, figure this one out. But this is like so awesome. They're so awesome for figuring out how to do this dog. Like A little bit. I still don't know what happened. We lost signal. Flying that drone at 300 kilometers an hour is quite crazy. When we get really close to the car, the wake of the car is just causing so much turbulence on the drone. So I'm really struggling to keep it stable. If we can't fix this, then we cannot do the shot. It's um, yeah, it's critical. No pressure. Second attempt. Start the recording. Going off. Dang. That's so clean. Oh, you don't see Dude, all it's those like together. It's like a movie when he like comes in like that. Oh, it's so cool. When you watch on TV, nobody understands the speed of Formula One, and with this, you definitely oh can. My oh my God! Oh, you missed the bridge. Yeah, there was low over the bridge. When you do drone footage shooting with an F1 car, it's always passes or follow it for a little bit and then it takes off or but you can never have a drone that's where it's actually faster than us the speed it catches in through here is ridiculous yeah God. going through here and then into right. Top scoring. i didn't lift much that's crazy you can see like how the f1 car is like it looks like it's going a lot faster from this drone shot than what you actually watch like on tv when you're watching the races i think that's really dope like F Formula One, y'all see what y'all need to to get different camera angles, dog. I don't know if these guys can make multiples of them, and y'all can. But this, hey, this is the next step y'all need for different camera angles. These drones to show on top of the cars, like this camera shot is incredible. It's it's insane, and I I would love to watch the races from like a drone point of view. So I. Formula One, next step. Red Bull just made a video to give y'all the next step. Dutch, who are they? The Dutch Drone Brothers? Y'all are insane, dog. That's just so cool. That's awesome. That thing is, bro, that car is flying. Now you actually get an idea of how fast you're going yes. by everything. That's so cool, dude. Now we need to do this with Max. No pressure, yeah. If we get Max in the car, we might have an issue with chasing. <laughs> we only get one lap because it's the brand new RB20. We can do all sorts of things probably to improve maybe some aerodynamic changes and improved reliability. We're going to visit people that know how to help us out. This is gonna be so lit. We have all of the same departments that they use to engineer the car, and we use all of the same tools, techniques, methods, equipment. Formula One is all about the development race. We need to really look at how we can add some performance quickly. We can think about using the aerodynamic side of the business yeah. to help yeah. make it go quite a lot faster. 
some material changes. The composite design side could probably take some weight out. I think there's lots of things we can do to help. Yeah, we need to work together on this, and then we'll see where we end up. Dang, this is dope. Our brother helped us with really cool materials. It's shorter, it's lighter. We have a better camera system. And now That's it all comes down to fire. Back to the right. So it flies like this or like that? Like this. Looks really cool. Yeah. We've been working for like a year on this project. It's one of the fastest drones in the world, but it's the fastest filming drone in the world. So do you think you can keep up, Marie, with yeah, uh, for uh, a full lap? We've not picked the easiest driver to do this. We have to film <laughs> Max Verstappen, the three-time world champion, in the RB20. That is Max getting into the car. How confident are we feeling? 10 out of 10. If, if it doesn't rain. Uh -oh. I'm not nervous normally, but now it's slowly getting me. Firing up, the car is ready to go. Are the drones be ready? Here we go. go. This is the only lap we have for the RB20. Okay, ready? Oh, he's there already. Ready? Recording? Okay, let's go up. Launching. I'm on him. Oh my god. Oh my god! Bro! Jesus! Oh! The Swerve Dang! Look at the water coming off of his car, bro. Like, literally, how do y'all race from behind in the rain? That's what I'm trying to figure. How do y'all, how do y'all drivers with this shooting back at you? If you're not in first place, bro, this is tough. This is insanely tough with that just shooting back. That's crazy, dog. This camera angle, dog, is way better than. Uh, the camera angles I got for Formula One, dog, and of course it's a drone. It's a drone angle. They need more of these. Uh, they need to incorporate these in the races. I don't know what it would take. I don't know the details how you do it, but I would. I would love to watch from this angle, man. This is insanity. Oh my god. That's crazy. Yeah. Shots never really been done before. The quality. Never. Oh wow. Now you have to also be careful with the bridges. <laughs> Just over it. It's crazy. I never thought you know to see a drone going that quick. It gives a different perspective to watching Formula One. Yes. The Very. Side. A little bit to the side and then try to match up. And the Formula First did that. Yeah. That's really yeah. nice. A bit of a shame with the with the rain. Well, next we need a full speed dry lap behind you. Sure. This can change how people watch Formula One. Yes. I would much rather watch it with that angle, dog. Like, much. That's because that's crazy. That's like, 
Oh my god, I just get so hype, so hype about it. That's just so super freaking dope, that angle. But that's all we have, y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification, baby. Give the video a thumbs up. It's your boy, Dina. Out.